Hey guys, so here is my review of my new slinger bag. So before I get into it, it's about to say I'm not sponsored by Slinger Bag and they're not paying me to do this video. I'm purely doing it because I've had lots of requests and a few people talking about some of the videos that I've posted of me using a Slinger Bag. I thought it'd be good and useful for you to have a little bit more information on it. So hopefully this video will be good for you if you're looking to buy a ball machine of some kind or if you've been more specifically looking at the Slinger Bag but want to know a little bit more about it. So initially when you open the box, this is what you get. Now. The reason it's called Slinger Bag is because you open this pocket and there is a bag, a decent amount of space. This goes all the way down to the bottom. I can fit two rackets in here, a pair of trainers, some clothes, whatever you need for the tennis court. So that's a really useful function and quite unique to the Slinger Bag. This pocket here, if I open it, this is where you put the tennis balls in. So. I've got 72 tennis balls in here. I believe it can store up to 144, which again, as far as ball machines go, is quite standard, but just useful in the way that it's so portable. So it's like a luggage bag, you've got wheels, transport it around. It's fairly heavy, but because it's on wheels, it's easy to transport. And you've got these handles here to lift the bag if you want to, to go in your car to take it to the tennis courts got some more pockets as well so you've got a small pocket here this is for your phone so it's a protected pocket here and in this pocket I've got one of the accessories it's a phone holder which you can clamp onto the, the slinger bag pop your phone in here great for video analysis and also in this pocket which is a really good function is a USB charger so if you are recording a session on your phone and your battery's dying, plug it in here. Brilliant function. In this pocket, this is for drinks and towels, so a slightly bigger pocket down the side. I've got the charger in here. Depending on where you live in the world, this is a UK adapter, but this gets plugged in to the front to charge up. Let's think about it. On the other side, We've got one last zip pocket and this one here has got a picture of a wallet and a set of keys with a little clip that you can clip the keys to and I've got the slinger bag remote in there too really useful bit of kit you can you know turn it on and off change the oscillation from the other end of the court rather than having to keep walking back to the machine so onto the slinger part of the slinger bag so in here is it the front panel this is where the balls are launched from so you've got a number of different buttons and knobs so you plug the charger in here there's a little port as well for you to ch plug in the oscillator which comes in the bigger bundle pack which I'll talk about in a sec you've got feed knob so that the feed knob is turned to beginner all the way through to advanced so this helps you to adjust the intervals between each feed so if you've got it on beginner there'll be a big amount of time in between each feed if you put it to advanced it'll be a much shorter amount of time so the feeds will come quickly one after the other the other knob at the top is for speed so that is the speed of the oncoming ball so again if you have it on beginner the ball will travel slowly through the air if you put it through to advanced, it will come through pretty quickly. Now, you can clip this panel back. You've got a little clip here, which clips back here to keep it out of the way. Um, and then finally, the last little adjustment that you can make to your launcher. In this zip compartment here, you have another adjustment where you can change the trajectory of the ball. So you can change the height in which the ball is fed. So if you want to practice some higher, loopier shots, you can put it onto that high trajectory. Or if you wanted to receive some shots lower and closer to the net, you can change that as well. So functionality is pretty good. So that's what it looks like. My review on how it performs, I've played with a number 
of different ball machines before. And as far as value goes, this one is at the cheaper end. So I know in the States it sells for around $650. Now, it's more expensive in the UK because it's made out in the States and I think at the moment there's only one retailer in the UK. I'll add the, the links to the, in the comment section below. But I believe it sells at the moment for around £780. That includes the ball machine, the ball collector tube which I've got here, which is a standard ball collector tube. You can pick up the balls and pour them into um, back into the ball hopper here. It comes with an oscillator. Now the oscillator is just a device that sits underneath at the bottom of the slinger bag. You put it on top, plug it in, and you can change the setting from side to side. So rather than having the feed coming at you at a constant, you can have it more random feeding from side to side. Really good function if you want to work on your footwork. Um, I've used that quite a lot and it's been really, really good. So yeah, you get the slinger bag, you get the ball tube, you get an oscillator, you get the phone holder, which clamps on to here, which I showed you before. And also you get a another tennis bag. So it's a, I think it's a three racket holder, which can go in here. So really good bundle, um, good value. And if you compare it to some other ball machines out there, it is pretty cheap. And as far as performance goes, so far, so good. Now, initially when I had my first few hits with it, I found that the ball came through quite quickly, more quickly than I expected. Although the ball speed advertised looks fairly standard, fairly slow, the ball has quite a bit of spin on it. So when it hits the floor, it actually kicks up and, and speeds up towards you. So it took me a while to get used to that and I played around with the ball speed and the feed in intervals um, and the trajectory as well. And once you get the setting right, it's much more comfortable and it allows you to have nice time on the ball. I've spent some time working on my ground strokes in the service box. I've worked back to the baseline. If you put it on the full speed and you go from baseline to baseline, it's quite a fast oncoming ball, so it's suitable for beginners all the way through to advanced players. I've also worked on drive volleys, and another really cool function, if you set the settings down to the lowest ball speed and the, the lowest feed speed, you can actually use it as a feeder for serving. So you can set it up, stand alongside it, catch a ball, hit your serve, and because the interval is quite slow, it gives you a bit of time, the ball will pop up again and you can catch it and do another serve. So it sounds lazy, but rather than walking over to the hopper, picking up a ball, doing your serve, walking back, you can actually stay in the same position, hit your serves, and the machine will just throw the ball out to you. So make use of the phone holder, really good tool for recording yourself playing tennis. And with the ball machine at the other end, you know, it's a definite no-brainer for lots of repetitions and a chance to see yourself in action rather than constantly having to have somebody at the other end. In these times especially, you know, if you, if you don't want to be interacting with other people and you want to have some time on your own, on the tennis court, away from other people, getting a ball machine is a fantastic investment. The only thing I haven't seen is its durability. So over time, time will tell. But um, it comes with, I think I've got a four year warranty, which is um, great. I mean, hopefully things don't go wrong within the four years. It seems to be pretty good so far and haven't heard of any things going bad or wrong with them. So it's been a good investment for me. And um, if you're thinking of getting a ball machine, definitely I would recommend this, but do have a look at some others and see what you think. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if I missed anything out. Like I said, it's my first review I've done. So if there is anything else that you'd like to know about the Slinger Bag, pop a comment below and I'll get back to you straight away. And if you like this video and you'd like to see more, make sure you click subscribe and I will see you soon.